Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we are here with another video. So, something that I will be grinding on my noob account as I do have a little bit of a bet with one of my friends is Mole. And I will be trying for the Mole pet, obviously, as that's the main reason people go for it. However, recently Mole's kind of had a come up because it, on top of being a fast pet and an overall easy boss to grind, like it's not very like tiresome, um, it is profitable. You make about a mil an hour if you're running pretty fast kills. And so basically, I had a question myself that I needed to know for the long run and that was whether or not it would be worth it to actually turn in the mole claws and skins for seeds and seed nests and whatnot or if it would just be better off selling them as a whole so that's what this entire video is going to be about I'm going to hop over on my noob account right now go buy some of the seeds or I guess trade in my uh, mole skin and claws for seeds and rings and empty nests and the whole lot so let's go ahead and do that and then I will go ahead and get on into the efficiency of it all right so now for the time the video in which I will go ahead and personally see what I'm able to make from this. Right now the OS buddy and the actual guide prices differ a little bit, so for the sake of it we'll say that this is in total 6 mil between the claws and the skins. Now this is from obviously a little bit of a little bit of mole, about 350 kills or so, so I'm going to go ahead and see what I can get from Weissen as far as bird's nest and the loot is concerned. So let's go ahead and do it. I will trade in my mole parts and then you're given 3 little boxes and basically um, I've talked about this earlier but you get different ratios of different ones so I'm gonna go ahead empty these all out and see what kind of loot we're able to get from all of these and here we are at the first screen so this is going to be the nest rates now as you guys know if you guys have ever turned in mole skins or mole claws you don't just get all of one kind you guys saw me just do that a second ago you actually get percentages of each now this has changed over time I think Jax has messed with it a little bit because since Autumn LG's video two years ago he said that the nest rates that he was getting was 80 10 and 10 and that's just nowhere near close to what I got or what people have been getting of late. So um, to kind of update it, I think it's more around 70, 25, and 5, and that's what we'll be working off of for this video. So with that said, let's go ahead and get on into the seed nest. So with the seed nest, basically there are a lot of different seeds, and I wasn't going to put them all up on screen now because that would just be too much, but uh, the main seeds that we want to focus on are the use seeds. You have a 0.6% chance. Spirit seeds, now you guys may not need these. They don't trade for any money. They're untradeable, but they are a 0.4% chance. So one out of every 250, you should expect one. I was able to get more than a few within my testing, but uh, Snapdragon's 0.6% chance. Raynar's 0.8. Maple seeds with a 1.1. Willow with a 3, papayas with 1.1, and a magic seed with 1. This is all rough estimates. Obviously, they could be rounded off to 1s. However, they give you a very good clue as to where we are with that. Now, on the left, you guys can see that I have... 2,843 per nest in just seeds alone. I'm going to go ahead and cut on over now to the notepad that I have. Um, I know it's not great to read, however, if you want to go ahead and look through that, that's how I was able to find how much each seed returns on average in the seeds alone. So, as you guys can see, if we go ahead and add that 2.8 thousand along with the cost of a non crushed bird's nest that is 1 point, or 4.1 thousand at the time, you go ahead and get yourself 6.9k, almost 7k. Now, remember that's only a certain portion of the overall nest you will be getting we will also have ring nests as you guys well know so the ring nest that I was able to find in the rates that I'm approximating is about 40% for sapphires along with 40% for gold rings 15% for emeralds a 1.5% for diamonds and an 8.5 for rubies I'm not so certain about the 0.5 but they're relatively close to that on top of that, as I did before, you guys can go ahead and look at the screen now, and that will show you guys pretty much how I was able to find these. But with that said, that means that we averaged around 630 on returned per nest as far as rings go. And if you add that onto the 4.1 thousand that you initially get back from the bird's nest alone, that puts us at 4.73 thousand. So this is how I found the average return on a mole claw slash skin. Basically what I did was I multiplied the percent chance of each type of nest by their average GP value and as you guys can see that turns out to be 1.2k for the rings 4.8k for the seeds and 2 105 for the empty nest. Now basically the way that works is you need to find an average of all of them combined and obviously you're not going to get them all at the same rates. That's why you have to multiply them times the percentage. But that ends up working out to 6247. So pretty much uh, 6.25 thousand which is more currently than both mole claws or skins. 
And if we go ahead and look now at these two pieces, basically moleskins right now are about 5.4k, which is not too bad at all. That'd be about 800 GP profit per one if you open the nest instead of actually selling on the piece. And mole claws are at 5.9k, being around 350 GP profit, which isn't too bad either. Uh, now there is one thing that I want to go ahead and say, and that is based off of earlier. I said that the estimated price was around 6 mil, but it was actually closer to the total guide price of around 5.8 after doing some multiplication and kind of figuring it all out. Uh, basically, if we go ahead and look now, we have a total of 6.25 mil, which is not too bad at all. Basically, the reason I think the guide price is going to be closer here is because a lot of these items are going up lately because with Zora's new update and not having as many magic seeds dropped, the entire game's just been kind of grasping at whatever farming XP they can get for the time being, so a lot of these seeds have gone up. But with that said, as you guys can see, from 5.8 to 6.25, we did make 450k, and the fact that this only took me about 10 minutes to do makes it that much better so i'd say it's definitely worth it to go ahead and open up your nest instead of actually selling on the claws slash skins in the grand exchange as you guys can see from here uh now there is one thing you guys can do and that would be to go ahead and crush the bird's nest yourself i really can't be asked now they usually have about 150 gp margin if you go ahead and crush them however it's really click intensive and to actually make it worth it you'd have to crush like 8k an hour which i don't even know if it'd be possible so not even really worth it in my mind um um, if you're an Iron Man and you kind of want an easy way out, you can go to Narda and there will be a guy there that will crush them for you. I believe it's around 200 GP per crush though, so keep that in mind. But with that said, that'll be the end of the video today, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. If there's anything you guys want me to compare or look into in the future, make sure to comment it down below so I have ideas. I mean, I have some, but more never help more never hurt <laughs> anyways if you guys enjoy the content make sure to subscribe and i will be streaming on twitch more in the future so go ahead and hit up that link in the description down below but with that said i hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace